Hansa Teutonica is a game about setting up business offices in 12th century European cities and it's about getting control of the cities. Whoever has the most offices in the city controls the city and these uh, cities are filled up from left to right and uh, the tiebreaker for control is whoever has the rightmost uh, office. So the last player in uh, gets control. You are also aiming to build a network uh, by having offices in adjacent towns. At the end of the game, you score two points for every city you control and one point for every office in your biggest network. So how do you establish an office? Your resources are traders, which are the cubes, and merchants, which are the discs. You use these resources from your supply to fill up a trading route. Uh, you can put either traders or merchants on the route there. And when it's full with your color resources, then you can complete the route and establish an office in one of the cities that's at either end of the route. The office will require a specific resource, either a trader or a merchant, and that needs to come from one of the resources that was used to complete the route. The other resources you use to complete the route come off the board and into your stock, which means that they're no longer available to you. In order to use them again, you're going to have to take income, which means transfer the uh, resources from your stock into your supply. So Hansu Teutonica is a cycle of uh, using your resources to complete a trade route, establishing an office, and then uh, taking income so that you can do it again. There are three routes on the board which have a bonus token. Uh, you get this when you complete the route and any turn that you get a bonus token then you have to put a new one on the board uh, so there's always three bonus tokens on the board. You start the game with just two actions on your turn. Putting a resource on the route, that's an action. When a route is full of your resources, it's actually not yet complete. You have to use an action to complete the route, which allows you to establish an office. Taking income is an action, uh, which allows you to move up to three resources from your stock into your supply. So for example, one turn could be first action, put a resource on the board, second action, uh, do that again, put a resource on the board. Then next turn, uh, first action, complete the route. Second action, take income. So then you're ready to do it again. And this is how you play Hansa Teutonica. But uh, not really, that would be kind of boring. There's some other stuff. Another action you can do is to displace another player's uh, resource. There's other people playing this game, right? This has a cost to you and a benefit for them. To displace another player's resource, you must transfer one resource from your supply into your stock and the displaced player moves their resource to uh, an empty space on an adjacent route and they get to put uh, a resource on the board from their stock and put it on an empty space on, a, on an adjacent route, which is very nice for them. Now, this is where merchants distinguish themselves from traders because uh, if you have to displace a merchant, then the uh, cost to you and the benefit for the other player are both greater. You have to transfer two resources back into your stock and the displaced player gets to put out two resources from their stock onto the board. 
So in this game, you want to get in the way of other players. If I can get you to displace me, the cost to you is actually not that great, but the benefit to me is fantastic. Uh, this mechanic makes for like really good interaction and it's why you're gonna love Hansa Teutonica. There's one more action you can do. I've already said that it's an action to put uh, a resource from your supply onto a route. Well, another possible action is to move two resources that are already on the board. So here's the uh, possible actions you can do in Hansa Teutonica. And remember, uh, you have two actions to spend on your turn. If the game is looking like hard work at this point, uh, that's because I haven't yet told you the best part, which is that in Hansa Teutonica, you can make your turns more powerful by uh, improving skills on your player board. To improve a skill, you take a resource off your player board to reveal your improved circumstances. For example, you can make it so that you transfer more resources into your supply when you take income. Uh, the resource you removed when you improved the skill goes into your supply, uh, which is great because uh, as you are establishing offices in the game, you're getting fewer, you're having fewer and fewer resources. So you're gonna need to uh, unlock them off your player board. To develop a skill, you need to complete a route at a yellow banner city. Lubeck is where you go to improve your income, for example. You complete the adjacent route and you have to forgo uh, setting up the office uh, to instead develop the skill. That's how it works with these yellow banner cities. Groningen will uh, develop the book, which means you can move more resources around the board when you take that action and it gives you a merchant. Stad will give you privilege. Uh, you can't establish an office in one of these colored spots unless you have developed the corresponding color privilege. Gottingen will give you more actions per turn, so you'll want to be going there. Uh, when you improve a skill, you actually uh, get the improved situation immediately. So uh, in Groningen, for example, whenever you develop so that you have um, three actions, then immediately you get a third action on that same turn. Hal will develop your keys, which means you will score two points per office in your largest network at the end of the game instead of just uh, one point. Uh, you could even develop it so that you get three or even four points per office in your network at the end of the game. And there's one more yellow banner city, Coelan, uh, but there's no skill associated with this one. Uh, when you complete the route adjacent to Coelan, instead of establishing an office, you can put a merchant that you used to uh, complete the route, you can put a merchant into uh, the yellow banner by Coelan uh, for end game points. So uh, there's actually three reasons uh, that three things that can happen after you complete a route. Uh, one is to establish an office, but alternatively it could be to uh, develop a skill or finally it could be to put a merchant into Coelan. The bonus markers provide different benefits, for example, uh, more actions for one turn or to develop a skill for free, which is really nice. When you put a bonus token on a board because uh, you've taken one that turn, uh, then you have to put it on an empty route and there needs to be at least one empty office at either end of the route. Um, it's really easy to forget that rule. Now let's talk about end game points. Uh, to do this, I'm just going to refer to this player aid by Philip Newen, who uploaded this to Board Game Geek. 
Uh, I can't improve on this. I'll include a link to it in the description of the video, but I owe a lot of thanks to Philip Newen because this is my favorite uh, player aid ever. Where were we? Oh yes, end game points. I already said you score for cities you control and for offices in your largest network and for merchants in Coelan at the end of the game. Also at the end, you score points for uh, the bonus tokens that you have and for each skill you developed all the way to the end. You also score points during gameplay. Um, this is actually like quite a big source of points. Every time a player completes a route, the players who control the cities at either end of the route score a point. Uh, they score the, the moment the route is completed before the ob office is established. Also, there are a few office spaces which give you a point when you establish an office there. And finally, uh, when players link a chain of offices between Arnhem and Stendhal, they score seven points, four points, three points. The game ends when a player reaches 20 or more points that they scored during gameplay, or if the uh, bonus markers, bonus tokens run out, or if there are 10 cities uh, full of offices. It ends immediately when one of these three conditions are met. Uh, the player does not even finish their turn. Then it's time to count up the points. And now it's time that I uh, shut up and let you get on and play a game of Hansa Teutonica, uh, which you can do on tabletopia.com. Uh, it's a premium game on there, but um, Hansa Teutonica is the perfect game for tabletopia.com. Uh, also, check out the other Hansa Teutonica videos that are on this channel. Uh, there's an interview with the Hanseatic Museum. There is a game where I play Hansa Teutonica uh, with an employee from the uh, Hanseatic Museum. And there's also a beginner strategy guide for Hansa Teutonica available on the channel. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if so, please do consider supporting the channel with a, a thumbs up or a subscribe. Uh, thanks for all of your encouragement that I've had to uh, keep on making these videos. I'll see you in the next one.